Hey guys, Sacred Ninja 3 here, and today I'm back with yet another World Box update. And this one is huge. It was very unexpected, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. So let's get right into it. As you can see, they changed the custom world thing. So the water level now goes up to like 100, and random shapes goes up to 100. Small islands goes up to 125. Let's see how big this gets. Still seven. All right. There's a lot of new things with like cities like I think they have walls and borders now you can select cities so they actually have fortresses and kingdoms and stuff so let me show you there got all this stuff but all right first we got village info select a village oh this is what it was before see detailed information but you got to select the village village names display all the village names and borders Display the borders. So now cities have borders. All right, let's spawn in some humans, some elves, some dwarves, and some orcs. All right, let's just let them get into their things first. Start building up. Times five. All right, as you can see, this is what their city is. We can select a city. So, Deb here has 8 out of 8 people, 13 land, I assume, and 0 dead people. And there's a cat. It's kind of cool. I'll have to check out what that sound is. We got this one. And this one. You just see all the information that it tells you. Now, we have uh, village names which we can keep on. This is just the village info, so let's see. Oh, that's good. With that light on, it means we can have it on and place stuff with the city name staying on. That will be good for my videos. And borders. These are their borders. Basically, the village info just doesn't show that. So this is how much land they have. So as you can see, they added an extreme lot amount of stuff just for the cities so that's pretty good as you can see it shows you the borders the names as before allows you to show the borders and names while you're placing other objects and you can click on them to see the deaths the population and the land coverage now it doesn't seem they added anything else but piranhas are much more dangerous now like as you can see it looks like they're going pretty crazy there Let's see what happens if I spawn a human in here. Oh! They actually have a swim animation. Did you notice that? That is good. They actually have a swim animation. That is... Okay. Oh, but they automatically die. Um... Got them. Even they swim. Okay, that... Uh, what? No. Obviously... That swims, and even that swims. That is awesome. Alright, let's see here. Um, yeah, this is very unexpected. I literally just updated the game. I wanted to check. Hey, maybe there's an update, and this happened. And usually you guys tell me about it, but... This was really unexpected. Nothing new there except for that. Um, hey, that's from a story mode a long time ago. Okay, let's go into here and check out anything else. There was no new um, achievements I checked. New power display. Okay, city borders. Select city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More translations. Flip animation. Whatever that is. Unit skin system. Units will have different heads and weapons. I assume that's every person. They can have different weapons and skin color. Now, that's good different heads I'm, I assure you that probably means hair color um tools swimming animation yeah uh new I yep okay growth of grass decreased pause game when window was open okay demons will die in water now I thought that already was a thing um procreate logic for sheep Village name icons, UI improvements. Antimatter bomb doesn't kill creatures. Okay, 
delayed TNT not explode after b being burnt. Random pixels have to generate a new map. Some saves won't load. Tornado damage effect. Random shake animation. Okay. Tumors grow through water in mountains. Holy crap, guys. I'm going to check that out. Let's see here. It's not spawning, but I think if I do this, it might. Not sure, but it goes on mountains, it says. So maybe it will soon. Maybe that's just a bug and it didn't exactly fix itself yet. Yeah, I'm not sure, but as you can see, they're getting a lot of territory. You know, I gotta do another game, like actual territorial game, and actually show it in depths where you can see stuff. Uh, I'll probably do that. Um, Antimatter bomb. Doesn't kill creatures. Let's see here. No, I really want to see the different head thing. It might not work for them, but... <gasps> You can see he has a different weapon. Yeah, they all have different weapons. Alright, as you can see, it's grown onto the mountain maybe? No, it has not. Not even on water. Not sure about that one. Okay, they got pickaxes, shovels, axes, and other sorts of stuff like a sword. Oh, he has blonde hair. That has a ponytail. That one has Elvis hair. That is really cool. Let's check out the um, the elves, or dwarves, I mean. Okay, some have beards now, like the ones that they should have had with red hair. They got the old people, the different weapons. They got hats. That's really awesome. All right. And then we got the elves, which we have white-haired ones, different types. They got their hair back. They got staffs. They got bows. They got swords. I'm not seeing much with bows, though, but hey. Okay, let's check this out with... Um, uh, let's see the bandits. Okay, they also changed the bandits. Yep, let's check out the cold ones. You know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna have to do this. Alright, um... Yeah, I can't tell, but to be honest, it doesn't look like they updated those. I'm not going to expect anything new from the demons. Just the same. But they do change. Look, there's a black one. A black one. Okay, let's see how many new ones of these we can find. As you can see, they definitely have updated some. Different hair colors. Even wood types. I, I swear I saw a black one, though. Could have just been that it was cold. Um, zombies look the same. There's a close-up if you haven't seen it before. All the Santas look the same. Cold ones look the same. The elves look different. As you can see, they got different weapons, colors, hairstyles. All blonde still. We got all these humans, different types of wood, weapons, hairstyles, colors, hats. We got a bald dude. We got bald ones, alright. We got... Did they always have green hair? I swear. Anyways, this is what they have. And, um... Got giant clubs and stuff, so... That is really cool. They, they're so in unison. Just, just look how awesome this looks. This is really a big update to the game. And I kind of just put an update to it, so let's see how this all plays out. Dang. Alright, let's see. This has yet to... I don't know what that looks like. It looks like it was devoured or something. That looks really fake. Don't remember it looking like that. Um... Not this, where the acid is. Obviously, that's the acid right up here in this area. Uh, this is not going onto the water at all, or onto the mountain, so um, that might be a bug. Might have to report that. They burnt everything, but they need to have it where they can have boats and build on mountains. But this looks like a giant, like, species-wise, like villages, makes it more lively. Looks like they own this entire island. 
Yeah, it just makes it more alive, as you can see. Is the land getting devoured or something? What the crap? Do they own that land in the water? That's, that's cool. They actually can swim now, that's better, but they should also have boats. And, um, they should have it if they're swimming for a long time, they can get tired and die. Anyways, that seems about it and wraps it up. So... Yeah. Thanks for watching. Check out the new update. I'll make sure to see anything else that happens. Report new things. Uh, join the Discord. And, um... Yeah, anything else you want to see me do on this channel, so...